Welcome to Tips from the Top with me, Jo Parry. Today I've come to Solway Community Technology College in Cumbria. This is one of the top performing secondary schools in the county. In this video, Head of Modern Foreign Languages, Katie Jones, shares her top tips for communicating with parents. What's good communication with parents? Well, first of all, we have a lot of communication within the school. So as at the house, we meet on a Wednesday morning and we have house assembly. So we talk about all the good things that have happened in the weeks. And I'm very much in favour of the positive rather than the negative. I agree totally. So often we've lost points for detentions or isolations, but I choose to speak to the pupils on a one-to-one -one basis so they're not embarrassed in front of the other pupils. And we just purely focus on all the good things, so really pushing the achievements that we've had. And if somebody's done particularly well, they get a reward within that assembly and we also nominate the top three earners for the house and they get a slightly bigger reward and we really make a big thing of it lots of praise for that and then those ones that have done really well I might phone the parents and say we're really pleased with how they're doing and isn't that wonderful mm -hmm. I think parents have this idea that they only get phone calls from the school when something bad has happened mm -hmm. but actually that must mean the world to them you make an effort to pick up the phone and give them a great piece of news mm -hmm. about their about their yeah I think pupils. the expectation is that they'll get a phone call and think, oh what have they done there are they? <laughs> no definitely Definitely. Yeah. So do you have um, times when you have to call parents in or, or things like that in your role? We have regular parents' evenings and tutor evenings as well. And then if the parent is unable to attend, then we'll phone them and say, is there a more convenient time? But I think the parents are generally quite comfortable with just popping into the school and they'll just come in and say, have you got a minute? Can I talk to you? And there's not a fear of talking to the teachers at our school, which is really good. OK, so you've, you've set up this house system and that in itself is providing good communication both with pupils and with parents. Now, what if you've got a difficult issue? that you want to communicate to a parent? First of all, I'd have a meeting with the child and find out exactly what the issue is and what's gone on and see if we can resolve it within school. And then I would invite the parent in and possibly with the child as well and trying to talk it through, the three of us together, to try and find a way forward. So what do you expect from your, your tutors in your house? Um, I expect the tutors to, they have a big role within the school, it's very important to be a tutor. So they're in charge of doing the registers and keeping a track of the students, making sure they've got the equipment and the right uniform. And then they're the first port of call if there is a problem. So right. generally the people would go to them and then the tutor would let me know if it's something that I need to be aware of. You're clearly doing a great job, Katie, and, uh, and congratulations. So uh, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you. So here are some quick tips on communicating well, effectively, but not spending all your time communicating and none of it teaching. So first of all, I think the beginning of the year is where you put your foundations down. That's where you do most of your work. You make that contact with the parents, you communicate with them, you introduce yourselves. If you get a good rapport and a good relationship, it means that when problems come along later in the year, if they do, you've already got a relationship set up and you can work together to resolve any situations. And finally, I like to give three weekly emails and I ask my staff to do this to the parents of my tutees. So every three weeks, write an email so you've got something in black and white sent to the parents that says how things are going and what their child is doing. This gives the communication across but it also tells parents I really know your child and that will make them feel safe and secure about you as a teacher. Good communication is key but be savvy about it and you won't spend all your time doing it.